looking scrumptious like a snack. Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. This is my channel Pin'em Up. My name's Emma and I'm a makeup artist and today I'm going to be doing a look that's in collaboration with Makeup by Femke from Instagram, which I'm very excited about. We're doing a Nightmare Before Christmas team up, but we're changing Jack and Sally a little bit because our main idea is that we want to do them all in pastel colours and change up their colour scheme a little bit. So um, Makeup by Femke has already done her look and it is fire and I'm sure by the time this video is posted it's up so you got to go look at it and like it because it's so good um, we took a big challenge on this is not an easy project to do I also yes I'm wearing contacts today so I can actually see for like the first time in a video in like a year very exciting um, but I'm just gonna probably jump straight into it in order to glue down my brows I'm going in with a washable glue stick and I'm scraping it off with a spatula and then using the spatula to apply this up along my brow hairs. So I'm going to grab a spoolie in a minute because the idea is that I'm pushing them flat up on my face and I'm trying to fill in so that there's no gaps of texture. Oh, this is a look and a half. Yes. I'm also scooping the glue from the top so I can use it without going back into my freaking glue stick a million times. After blow drying my things, they're pretty damn dry, but I'm going to go in with a little bit of powder. Um, it probably won't look like a little bit of powder, but I'm just trying to evenly coat them. Then I can move on to the prosthetic and then I can move on to the actual fun bit. So this is all just like the prep for what's going to happen. I'm just going to take a beauty sponge, a uh, mirror, tap this powder onto here. Oh, yes! Looking scrumptious like a snack! Also, before anyone is like coming to me, make sure you're wearing a top. Wearing a tube top. Everyone calm. I have to do that in every video because even when my friends watch it, they're like, oh my god, are you not wearing a top? I'm gonna go in with my Prosade and I'm also gonna use, so I'll hold them up for you. These are some brow prosthetics that I made myself. Very excite, very excite. Okay, just because this is a tricky process, particularly in this spot, I'm gonna go do the rest off camera and then I will be back. Oh, hi. This shot's probably gonna look a bit out of place because my eyebrows are already yellow and my neck's already yellow, but I did try to do the base on the previous attempt. So this is attempt two. I've had to go and wash it off because I actually got a patch uneven and then I couldn't fix it. So it just became this like endless cycle of ruining other patches of it. So what I've just done is remove that, kept the brow stuff. And I'm gonna go again because quitting is for losers. What you missed in the first one, I'm gonna summarize it real quick. I might put a clip or two of it in. I tried using cream products, but found that it took a lot of the cream product to do it. So then I moved to airbrushing. Airbrushing also didn't work. <laughs> Mmm, yes, felt really good at that point. Then did body paint, but because of all the layers, it all started to break down on my face and like whenever I touched it, it would come off. So I've had to remove it and go again. I'm going to use the yellow and I'm going to do some contouring. Mm. 
remembering that next loop. We've always got to give attention to that next loop. We now begin the process of putting all the black stitches and all the white stitches. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put all the lines for the black stitches in and then I will do all the lines for the white stitches. So on the white stitches I'm going to do black dots on either end and on the black stitches I'm going to do white dots on either end. So you'll kind of see that but I'm going to fast forward through because it's going to be a lot of stitches. And I've just got two fine brushes so my plan will be to have one as the black brush and one as the white brush. So here's the final look now that I have popped the wig on and I love her so much. The first attempt kind of led me to this, so as much as I hated it, I do love this. I do have some tweaking to do on my eyebrow prosthetics, but that is a thing for another day. I'm so in love with this. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up because it takes two seconds and it gives me an awesome idea of what content you guys like. And also subscribe down below because there's a link and a button, so it's super easy. And while you're subscribing, make sure to click that bell icon so that you get notified every time that I post. I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.